we found some amazing fifth wheel floor plans with two bedrooms. Stick around folks, you're going to want to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're going to be looking at fifth wheel RVs that have two bedrooms in them, much like this one that has a bunkhouse with a really cool dinette setup. We've never seen that before. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing. And we also have a website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we invite you to join our Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, which isn't just for newbies, it's for everyone and anyone interested in learning more about RVing. But for now, we're gonna get started looking at our review of fifth wheel RVs with two bedrooms. This fifth wheel is the Sprinter Campfire 32BH. It's a very cool fifth wheel because it's got two bedrooms, one in the front, one in the back. It's got two bathrooms, one at the front near the owner's bedroom and another one in the back at the back bunkhouse bedroom. It's got three really nice size slide outs and it's a four season fifth wheel as well. So we'll show you all that stuff as we make our way through this particular review. Now right here, the door is sort of located right dead center in this particular fifth wheel. So you walk in and boom, you're right into the kitchen area. It's got a nice big U-shaped kitchen, which I really like that style. You know, when you're in here, it's just everything's easy to get to. You know, you got your sink, your fridge, your stove, your microwave, everything's very handy. It's got lots and lots of storage space above. I mean, that's super deep, like two feet deep. And then, you have more pantry space here as well. Uh, so just a ton of cabinet space in here. Down below, there's even more cabinet space. So uh, lots of room in the kitchen area. Now, right across from the kitchen, we have our dinette, which is a four-seater dinette. And then you move back into your living area. Now, this particular model is showing a couch which can pull out into a bed where two people can sleep. So just in this living and kitchen area, you can sleep three people, two right here on the couch and then one in the dinette area. Now, right across from the couch, you have your TV and there is an optional fireplace that you can get down below, but in this model, they're just showing some cabinet storage and you also have storage cabinets up above. I also wanna point out this whole entire side is a big slide out. So this is one of the three slide outs that are included in here. But it's nice because it's got some pretty big windows, lets a lot of light in, um, and just makes it feel spacious and airy in here. Now, towards the back of this fifth wheel is where one, the second bedroom is. And it's really kind of a bunkhouse, which is perfect for the kids. So when you come into the bunkhouse, on this side, you've got a window up top, a bunk up top, a jackknife sofa down below and then right across from the sofa you have a spot right here where you could mount your TV so the kids can sit there play their video games enjoy some TV and then up top is another bunk so you could sleep three kids back here very easily another nice feature of this is you have a bathroom which is inside of the bunk room so the kids have their own toilet vanity, medicine cabinet, all that good stuff. Uh, so it's very, very uh, convenient for everyone. Okay, so just past the kitchen, coming up the steps towards the front of this fifth wheel, bang a left, and we're inside of the owner's bathroom, which actually has two entrances, one from the hallway where Susan is now standing, and then the other would be where I am, which this leads into your master bedroom. Uh, good size bathroom in here. I'll shut the door so you can see the whole thing. But you can see that you have a nice big round shower area here, vanity, medicine cabinet, and then toilet in the corner. And there's even some additional linen closet storage right over here, top and bottom. All right, so here we are in the master bedroom. You can see the ceiling height in here. I don't know, you could be about 6'4 and make it in here okay. I'm 5'11, so just to give you some distance, there's about five, six inches over my head. Um, each side of the queen size bed has a rather large uh, cabinet with a 
a rod up top so you can hang things in here but that's about it as far as the storage goes also there's no like little nightstand on either side of the bed so it's a little lacking in that category um, also there's really no place to put a TV in here um, not sure where you would put it if you wanted to maybe over top of that window could work but nothing really that convenient um, but you know, for those folks that don't spend a lot of time watching TV, like we hardly ever do, um, it's a good size bedroom. The nice thing is people can get out of bed on either side and there is a good amount of space on each side of the bed to make your way around. And then of course you have your entry right into your, your bathroom here as well. This fifth wheel is from Keystone RV and it's part of their Cougar lineup. It's the 364 BHL model and it weighs about 11,277 pounds. It's 39 feet 3 inches long and it can sleep up to nine people in here. It's really really amazing. Now there's some really cool features with this RV. One of them is that it actually has two bedrooms in it not just one and then a bunkhouse or something like that. It also has two bathrooms in it. It has an outdoor kitchen it's four season so it's a really really cool fifth wheel model now as we work our way through it we'll show you some of those really really neat features as well so when you first walk in from outside you walk right into the kitchen area and you can see that you've got a nice size island here you have your microwave lots of little knick-knacky storage spaces for things uh, you got a three burner stove oven down below and as you work your way through the kitchen, this one has a side-by-side -side residential size refrigerator in here. And now that sort of brings us into the living area as well. It's kind of got a kitchen living area combo. But you have a nice size TV here, additional storage above for some CDs and movies and things like that. And then it's got a fireplace down below. And as we sort of wrap our way around through here, this particular model is showing the movie theater seating. It comes standard with a couch that can fold out into a queen size bed, or you can upgrade into the movie theater seating, but that'll, that'll cost you two places for people to sleep. And then this shows the booth dinette, but you can also option up and get four individual seats. But with the dinette booth, you can sleep one person here as well. And then finally, we have some additional pantry storage in the kitchen area. Um, really good size here, so you can take advantage of all of that as well. So before we head upstairs, I just wanted to point out this whole side of the kitchen and living area slides out. It's got nice big windows, makes it really nice and bright and open in here. So this is one of the three slide outs that come with this particular fifth wheel. So from here, let's head on upstairs and check out the master bedroom. Okay, so I just came up the steps towards the master bedroom and made a left into the bathroom here. So Susan's standing in the hallway shooting into the bathroom. And as you can see, this is a really good size bathroom. To the left here, we have a medicine cabinet, sink and vanity, lots of drawers and storage space below. And the shower itself is a really nice corner shower setup with the round doors. We really like this setup. Helps to keep the water in. It just feels much bigger and open and airy. Another nice feature with this bathroom is it has an, a second entrance which goes into the master bedroom but behind the door here is a nice little feature. You just have this extra sort of storage area and it's pretty deep and the reason it's so deep is because this is part of a slide out that goes into the master bedroom so we'll show you how that works but it's a pretty cool little setup but you have lots of storage in here for for drawers and things, you know, lots of storage in this area. Okay, so here we are in the uh, master bedroom area and you can see that it's got a queen size bed. Each side of the bed though has a storage cabinet above, a little nightstand down below, and these are good size nightstands too. So a lot of folks really, really like that feature. So this is perfectly set up for that. It's got its own air conditioner in here as well, which is great, so you'll be nice and comfy. And then, the rest of the slide out, which started in the bathroom, comes into the bedroom, gives you really, really nice size uh, storage space with a wardrobe set up. So you have three doors going into a wardrobe cabinet with a bar up top. And then of course, down below, you have two really deep drawers that pull out. So you have additional storage there as well. So 
this is a really, really cool setup. Now, the best is yet to come because we have to go to the other end of this fifth wheel and you're gonna love this bedroom when you see it. Okay, so we were just at the master bedroom which was at the front of this fifth wheel. Now we're all the way at the back. So we're at the other end of the kitchen in the living area. And you can see this room has its own door for privacy. But when you come into this bedroom, it is really cool because it's got a queen size bed down below. And then it's got a loft up above where two more kids can sleep up there very, very easily. So for some folks, that might be a plus. For other folks, maybe not so much. Maybe you don't want the kids sleeping above. Maybe you have four kids and you can just throw them all back here. Who the heck knows? But it's a really, really nice design. Now, one other nice feature is that you have all of this wardrobe closet built in here as well. So there's a lot of storage space. It's very, very deep. It's like two feet deep in there. And then each one of these doors that open also has a drawer below that pulls out. So just a whole lot of storage space for clothes and things like that. And then of course you have your ladder that goes up to the loft area. Now, this particular model also has a second bathroom. So what's really cool about the second bathroom off of the rear bedroom is that it has its own entrance from the outside. So you can come right in, use the powder room. You don't have to go through the whole RV, but it's got a nice vanity and me uh, medicine cabinet set up in here. Good size powder room, but a terrific second bath option right off the back bedroom. This fifth wheel is the Arctic Wolf 298 LB floor plan. It's a two bedroom model. It's four season. It's got four really big slide outs in it, but it's only 36 feet long and it's a little lighter than some of the other fifth wheels that we looked at. It only comes in at 11,820 pounds. Now, we really like the way this one's laid out, even though it's a little bit smaller, it's really um, not a bad layout at all. When you first walk in, you come into the kitchen and living area, and this has a pretty good size U-shaped kitchen in here. It has a uh, nice deep sink, lots of storage space above. Um, and then of course you have your stove, oven, and microwave. Um, I think the microwave's a little small in this model though. I mean, that's really pretty teeny, but they probably would have done better just to make this cabinet a little smaller and make the microwave a little bigger. Anyway, can't have everything. And then of course you have your refrigerator, separate freezer uh, above. So, you know, everything's in one easy to get to spot in the kitchen. Then of course you have your living area right at the back of this fifth wheel. Um, so you have a nice comfy couch that can pull out and become a bed for two people as well. And then right across you have your dinette area and uh, seating for four. They do have a little bit of a uh, fireplace in this particular model. I'm not sure that option's really worth it. You know, if you're sitting on your couch, you can't really see the fireplace. Um, but they also have this location, which is perfect to mount a TV. This model also has these zebra blackout shades, which are just really cool. I really like that feature. Um, easy, to go, easy to use, you know, and I just think they're kind of neat. So right around the corner from the TV and fireplace location, there is a huge pantry in this model. I mean... This thing is three feet deep. There's so much storage in there, it's ridiculous. You could store a ton of stuff in there. So that's a pretty cool feature. So as we leave the kitchen area, right across from that, we have the bunk room, which is the second bedroom in this fifth wheel. For a 36 foot fifth wheel to get two bedrooms in here is pretty impressive. We're not level right now, so the door won't stay quite open, but you can see that you have a bunk above and this bunk will actually fold up and out of the way down below, you have a jackknife sofa, so you could comfortably sleep two people in here, one on top, one down below. And then, of course, right across from the bunks is where you would mount your TV on the wall. You have a little storage space down below for movies, games, stuff like that. And then, of course, you've got a couple of wardrobe cabinets in here as well. All right, so as we move up the steps from the main living area where the second bedroom is located, there is a loft on top of the second bedroom. So two more kids could climb on up there and spend the night quite comfortably. All right, so here I am inside the bathroom. This shower is about three feet wide. 
Uh, pretty basic shower setup. It's got this cool little door that slides. So that way you don't have heavy shower doors or a curtain that you have to deal with. It's harder to get a sliding door in a three foot shower because it only leaves you a foot and a half to squeeze through. So this is a nice little alternative. And then also in here on this side of the bathroom, you have a nice size medicine cabinet, more storage over here, which is really super deep. So that's a great linen cabinet, good size linen, uh, vanity and then storage down below as well. And I am in the master bedroom of this fifth wheel. And as you can see, the ceiling space is pretty limited in here. That's not too unusual in fifth wheels, but I'm 5'11 and I'm banging my head about halfway through the bedroom. So if you were taller, it might be a tight squeeze. This also comes with a queen size bed rather than a king. But what that does is it gives you cabinetry on each side of the bed. You have HDMI ports, uh, electrical outlets, little shelves to cha charge your phones and things like that. And you can come in here and relax for the evening. In addition to all that, there's a, another storage cabinet up front here, two doors, lots and lots of space. All right, this fifth wheel is the Sprinter Limited 3570LFT model which stands for loft. And it's a pretty cool fifth wheel. It's got two bedrooms. One of the bedrooms has a loft over top of it. So this baby can sleep a lot of people. It also has four huge slide outs and uh, it is a four season fifth wheel as well. So a lot of really neat things going for this particular model. When you first walk in the door, you walk right into the kitchen area. And as you can see, there's a nice big kitchen island here with tons of countertop space, a nice deep single bowl sink, really good setup, plenty of uh, cabinetry and drawer space underneath. And then of course you have your oven and your microwave and a good size refrigerator here as well. As you wrap your way around in here, you walk into the living area where we have a nice TV over top of a fireplace. And then you have this sofa, which folds out into a bed so two people can sleep here. One thing I like about it is you have the end tables on both sides and the end tables have a little door underneath for even more storage under there. So pretty cool setup. As you work your way around, we have two seats here and they show the optional theater seating, but if you wanted this particular fifth wheel to sleep even more people, you could just go with the standard couch, which would look just like this one, and then two more people could sleep here. And then finally, you move around to, to your dinette area. Now, the standard fifth wheel comes with a dinette booth, so an extra person could sleep here, but with the four independent chair set up, you can't sleep anybody here, but it's a nicer look. So, uh, and it's got a nice little fixture over top. Now we've already seen two of the slide outs in this area. One of them is right here where the dinette and theater seating bump out. You have plenty of window space to get a lot of light in here. And the other one is on this whole side of the kitchen. So the stove, the fridge, and this part of the living area all bump out as well. So it really makes it feel nice and wide and spacious in the kitchen and living area. Hey, before we walk into the second bedroom, one thing we like in here is just the trim. It's a very rustic feel. Um, it's got these barn house doors, some of the darker trim around. Um, so it's a really nice rustic feel in here. We like that a lot. But coming into the second bedroom, it's got a bump out in here, which is where your sofa is located. This baby can pull out so two people can sleep in here as well. And then directly across from the couch, you have a really big area here for another TV that you can put in. So if the kids are in here, they can have a TV, play their video games, whatnot. And then there's plenty of storage. That didn't sound real good, but just that inner panel rattles a little bit. That happens sometimes. But anyway, you have storage all the way up and around. Uh, so they use every bit of space they possibly can. Okay, so now, now we just left the kitchen area. We're walking up these steps towards the front of this fifth wheel and over top of the second bedroom is a loft where two kids, maybe even three kids, if they're small, could fit up here pretty easily. So coming up the steps at, just past the loft, we turn left into the bathroom. Good sized bathroom in here. I'm standing in the shower. I'm 5'11". I mean, in the skylight area, I have plenty of height 
outside of the skylight, I don't know, maybe four inches over my head. So maybe someone 6'3 could stand in here pretty easily. But it's a four foot shower. It's got a little seat, so that makes it convenient. And then uh, I love the glass shower doors that are in here as well. And then outside you have a very nice size vanity, medicine cabinet, and then more storage down below. Here we are in the master bedroom at the front of this fifth wheel. And as you can see, it's got a nice big king size bed. There's a little shelf on each side where you could plug in your cell phone and recharge it overnight. But this is the fourth slide out in this fifth wheel as well. So it just gives you even more room in here. Uh, we like the fact that it's got these neat little barn doors with the hardware and that leads to a very nice size closet up front. And then behind me right here, there's additional storage, but if you wanted a washer and dryer inside your fifth wheel, this cabinet would convert and the rough ends are already here. So you could install a washer and dryer in here. So you would have that available as well. And then right in front of me here, we have a chest of drawers that are built in nice drawer top here. And then of course, a little bit more storage over top of that as well. All right. This fifth wheel is from Forest River and it's their Saber series. It's the 36 BHQ. It's a two bedroom fifth wheel. It's got four huge slide outs and I just love the interior of this particular model. It is really beautiful. The kitchen area has a center island and there's tons and tons of cabinet space on here. Nice big sink, lots of storage on this side. You can't see it, but I can. And trust me, there's lots of storage on this side. <laughs> it's got a nice big, uh, almost residential size fridge over here. And then it's got your stove, oven. It's got a small, bit of a small microwave oven up top, but I guess that's okay. I mean, you could get a dish in there or a small plate. Um, but that's the only thing I would really change. The microwave's not quite big enough, but they make up for it with all this crazy storage space that they have. And there's a nice big pantry and uh, I might have made that a little smaller and made the microwave a little bigger a little creek there hmm a little oil can handle that anyway in the living area once you get out of the kitchen again there's a lot of storage space up above you can get a good size TV in here and then it has a fireplace down below now towards the back end of this fifth wheel You've got a nice big couch that can pull out so a couple people can sleep here. And then of course you have your movie theater seating as well. Now one feature that Susan really loves about this RV are these zebra blackout shades. Check out how these things work. So you just move them real slow and once you line them up, it sort of black out the light or you just line them up that way and let the light in. They're really, really nice. And they go up and down really easy. So kind of a cool feature in here. Anyway, wrapping on around, uh, you have your dinette right across from the kitchen. Four chairs can fit in here, but it's just got a really nice feel to it. It just feels like, like a really upscale uh, fifth wheel. Um, and from the kitchen area, you would lead into the second bedroom. Now in this second bedroom, there is the third bump out in this particular fifth wheel. So that gives you room to have this couch, pull the couch out into a bed. And then uh, right across from the couch, you've got some storage space in here, like uh, to hang some garments and things like that. And then in this area, you can mount a TV and then below the TV, there's some additional drawer space as well. So here I am up the steps. And as soon as you come up the steps, you climb this ladder and the kids, can hop on up into this loft and have a great time spending the night up there. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. And as many of you know by now, I'm about 5'11". You could be about 6'3 and fit in here, and you could be taller if you stay under the skylight. But in the bathroom on the right-hand side here, there's a couple of good-sized storage cabinets that you could use. In the shower itself, this is about a four-foot wide shower. It has a seat on one end, a few shelves in here, which is kind of nice. And then it's got a nice medicine cabinet, plenty of storage in there, really good size vanity with some extra countertop space and then more storage down below. Here we are in the master bedroom and you know, it's in the front. So you, you really couldn't be more than 6'2 and be able to stand up in here. But 
This particular model comes standard with a queen size bed. They're showing it with the optional king. So uh, lots of bed space in here, but it's kind of hard to squeeze in on both sides of this bed. But uh, if you want the additional bed space, I guess that's the trade-off you're gonna have to make. Now in this front closet, this is really nice. There's tons of room in here. We really like these barn doors and stuff, but there's a shoe rack in there, plenty of room to hang your clothes, shelf up top. So just a lot of storage in there. And then right behind me here is another cabinet. And this would be able to convert into where you could put a washer and dryer. Swinging around the bedroom, we've got a nice built-in chest of drawers here. And then right above here is where you would uh, hang your TV. So if you're laying in bed, you can watch TV. Let us know which one of these fifth wheels was your favorite in the comments down below. And we hope you've enjoyed checking out all these fifth wheels. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of the boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we come out with a brand new YouTube video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.